Hi. Okay, so a group of my friends have been bugging me to go Facebook Live with my tips and tricks and whatever. Jokes, stories, songs. Okay, so here's my first one. I'm going to talk about being taken for granted. So sometimes my family or my friends will say, Oh, I'm so sorry that I took you for granted, but I think that's the best compliment in the world. Thank you for taking me for granted. This, I, you take the sun for granted. You take the moon for granted. You take the oxygen and the water for granted. We take anything that we can depend upon for granted. We take the gravity for granted and thank heavens the earth sucks or we'd all fall off. Anyway, so I'm excited to be taken for granted. Now, I have this right brain, so I always have these crazy thoughts and songs and jokes going through my head. I have a constant playlist, right? So whenever I needed to do something, I would forget very easily. I'd take, try the sticky notes. I would try writing on envelopes and I'd be all over the house. So in high school, I figured I needed to go to Walmart, buy myself a $10 planner, and just do write everything down in one spot where I could find it and keep checking it and keep checking it and keep checking it. And so that's what I did. So I've been writing down everything in my planner for my whole life. And I, I always check it and I always do it. Now, one time I accidentally forgot to check my planner and I thought, oh, I've done everything on my little list that I wrote on the envelope and let's go to the movie. Yay. I forgot to sing the national anthem for the governor. Sorry, Gary. Anyway, so I, you know, tried to make that up later, but ha drop a one if you have ever forgotten something very important that you promised you do, but you didn't do it. Mm. I know sometimes we always say, oh, let's go to lunch. Let's do this. We should say, okay, where and when? Do you want to go to lunch? My girlfriend called me and we were talking and we said, let's go to lunch. And we said, okay, Monday, 1130, let's do it. And it's awesome because if I write it down on my planner, it'll get done. So later when I got older and I had children, I had, my daughter was five years old and I said, um, and she came in and said, mommy, can we play Barbies? And I said, oh yes, let me just finish this project that I'm working on right here and we'll go play Barbies. So she starts to leave out the door and she comes back in and she goes, oh, did you write it in your planner? Even my five-year-old knew that if I wrote it in my planner, it would get done. Okay. Drop a two in your comment bar. If you have a planner, do you have a planner, a technical device, something where you actually can write it down? I know I'm not very techie, so I don't do the little, uh, you know, the alarms and all the little things that you can do with a thing. I just have a written planner. I'm old fashioned. So I just write it in my planner. Sometimes I'll take a picture of it. So I have it in my phone, but for the couple of days, but the fortune is always in the follow through. Do what you say you're going to do. If somebody says, let's do lunch, write it down in your planner, say when and where. If somebody says, call me tomorrow, write it in your planner, call them tomorrow. If you say, hey, you know, let's do this, or I'm going to get with you here. I'm going to do that. Just do what you say you're going to do. You know, I would rather do and not promise than promise and not do. It's very important that you have a planner that you get taken for granted. I pray that every single one of you may follow through with what you need to do in your business, in your job, in your social life, in your church, in everything that you're doing so that you can be successful because that will be the best success you could ever have. If you can be so successful that you follow through, I hope you get taken for granted. Now I don't even know how to post it.